Welcome to the CSLA Learn to Tweet course for CSLA 2016 conference attendees and members. I'm Jane Lofton and I'm a past president of California School Library Association and an active member of the organization. I'm also a Twitter zealot and really excited to be teaching this class. I came up with the idea of doing this before the 2015 conference um, primarily as a way to get more people using Twitter um, as part of their personal learning networks and in their school libraries, but also um, as a way to get more people tweeting during our conference and, enri and thereby enriching our conference. Since then, I've taught two similar classes for ASL, and I'm looking forward to this 2016 um, CSLA version. By me, Twitter is one of the very, very best social media tools for professional learning. It can also be used with students in a variety of ways for learning about news, doing research, building their digital footprints, and more. But this course is really going to focus primarily on getting you up and going using it effectively for your professional learning. I know that some of you taking this course already have Twitter accounts but want to improve your use of it, while others don't have a Twitter account yet. So I'm going to start right at the very beginning for those of you without an account. Um, those of you who do have an account, please bear with me while I go through the basics, but don't worry, we'll get on to material that applies to everyone very, very soon. So, starting at the very beginning, what is Twitter? Well, Twitter is an online media, um, social media network and microblogging service. Users send and receive tweets on computers or mobile devices. It's considered a microblogging service because tweets are restricted to a maximum of 140 characters each. That means that you as a tweeter or tweep have to be extremely concise in what you write and that you as a tweet reader can get through browsing lots of tweets in a short amount of time. Twitter does tend to have a bad rep with people who don't understand it. They think that celebrities and non-celebrities alike use it to post stuff like, oh, what you had for breakfast. And truth be told, that is how some people use it. But Twitter really is about how you use it and who you follow. And used in a savvy way, it can connect you with other school library people, teachers, authors, experts in any field, and more, and to a global community that will enhance learning um, and skills, improve your lessons and practice, and help you help your teachers and students connect with experts. It's also a way to have a lot of fun sometimes. And now a bit about how this course um, will be organized. While I'm recording this video to introduce myself to you so that you can see and hear me if you don't already know me, um, I mostly will be giving text instructions um, for activities. We will have one optional but highly encouraged live Twitter chat the last week of the class. Um, and I will suggest some events to participate in live tweet, all online, of course. But everyone else, every, everything else can be done at your own pace during each of the four weeks. There are no tests, no grades, just the sense of accomplishment for completing the tasks and acquiring or enhancing skills in social media. My suggestion is to spread the activities for each week um, over the course of the week so that you don't have too much at any one sitting. And really the best way to use Twitter is generally in regular short sessions. For myself, I always try to tw check Twitter at least two different times each day and more if I have time. Do please make a commitment to yourself to complete each activity for that week by Sunday night so that you'll be ready for the next Monday morning. Also, by working at the same pace as your classmates, we'll build a community together. But if you get behind, um, you don't need to beat yourself up for doing it. Um, you can catch up and um, be with us when you can. So, what's next? Um, 
Please read the week one information and tasks and be sure to get in touch with me if you have any questions. Um, do please also participate in our Google Plus community for comments on what you're learning and any questions that other participants would also want to know about. But um, do feel free to get in touch with me directly at any time with individual questions or comments. Um, thanks so much for participating. I'm really looking forward to connecting with all of you. And I know I'll learn just as much from you as you will from me. So let's get going on Twitter. Thanks.